You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Bold and the Beautiful fans. This is Soap Dirt on YouTube. We have got your Bold and the Beautiful promo that spans this week and part of next week, and we are so excited to tell you about it because it shows some of the romantic action between Hope and Thomas in Italy that everybody has been worried about. It's exciting. There are six sizzling scenes. We're going to break them down for you. We're going to tie them back to the known spoilers for the next week or two so you know when to expect each of these to happen. It's exciting stuff. Hey, if you haven't already, please reach down and click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Bold and the Beautiful casting news, promos, predictions, everything you need to know about your favorite CBS soap opera. All right, let's dig into this scene by scene. In the first scene, we have Liam Spencer with his father-in-law, Deacon Sharp. They are sitting at Il Giardino. Liam is on his tour of waffling and whining, telling everybody that he thinks Thomas can't be trusted when he was told by Steffi that it's hope that can't be trusted but he won't believe it. Okay, back to the promo. Liam says to Deacon, I can't shake this ominous feeling about Hope and Thomas in Rome together. Then we see Thomas and Steffi and Hope in the design office, and I think this scene already happened this week, where Thomas is saying this trip is just about business, right? Then we have Wyatt talking to Liam and Wyatt is doing his usual thing of getting Liam all worked up. And he says, you have to do something. You cannot let this trip happen. (sighs) Wyatt. Okay. Then we have Hope saying to Liam, it is just a business trip. Nothing more. Then we have a scene in Italy on a balcony overlooking this beautiful vista in Rome. And Hope is standing close to Thomas. She's got her hand on his arm. He's smiling at her. She's smiling at him. And they're alone on this balcony, but someone is watching from nearby. And that someone is Steffi Forrester. All right, in the sixth and final scene, it's basically more of the scene before, but there's a voiceover over separate component to it. There's one voice saying it's just a feeling, and then a voice says, like something bad's going to happen in Rome. All right, let's dig into this and tie it back to the known spoilers. So Liam talking to Deacon happens on Thursday, and that's because the scene of Hope talking to Liam saying it's just a business trip, nothing more, comes on Thursday, I believe, or is it Wednesday? No, it's Wednesday because that's the day that Hope says goodbye to Liam and things are really tense between them. Certainly, he's going to make a last-ditch effort to get her to cut Thomas out of this trip, but she's not going to do it. Then the next day on Thursday is when we have this scene with Liam and Deacon because the official B&B spoiler is that Liam turns to someone surprising for advice about his marriage, but we know from behind-the-scenes pictures and also because of this promo that it is, in fact, Deacon that he turns to and Liam's saying the same thing he keeps having I can't shake this ominous feeling about Hope and Thomas and Rome together he thinks Thomas is going to make a move on her Thomas is not the problem Hope is the problem and Steffi made it so painfully clear to Liam but it's like Liam is just cannot comprehend Hope wanting anyone but him. Even though she's been married to his brother, she was with that guy Oliver for a while. I mean, it's not like he's the only man in the world or the best looking guy in the world. Scott Clifton is adorable. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that Liam has to have some sort of acute narcissism to refuse to entertain the possibility that his wife could ever find another man attractive, right? Okay, so then the Thomas Steffi Hope scene, I believe, also happened already this week, and that's where he's saying this trip is about business, right? And after that is when he tells Hope, stop worrying about my bossy big sister being bossy like the boss, something like that. All right, so what the bottom line is this week is that Liam is going to get more spun up about this. And I want to talk about, because the scene with Hope and Thomas in Italy should be the following week. All right. So I want to talk about the the very last segment, which is the voiceover. Because the first time you listen to this, and I would love to hear y'all's comments. So when you, when you listen to this, at the very end of the promo, there's like four seconds of dialogue. And when you first listen to it, you think, you think based on the words, okay, that's Liam talking. And then 
then when I looked at the context and the spoiler about him talking to Deacon, then I listened again and I thought, that's Deacon talking. Again, as a voiceover, you can't tell who it is and the closed captions don't tell you whose voice is whose. Then I listened to it one more time before I played it for some of our writers in the writer's room and we have come down to this. We believe that they have taken a tiny snippet from Liam and then a snippet from Deacon and they have pushed them together to create this line of dialogue. Let us know what you think. So where the voiceover at the end says, it's just a feeling. That is Liam. Listen to it closely. That is Liam. He's talking about how he doesn't have proof about it, but it's a feeling that something is going to happen in Rome. He's not wrong. And then the next part, I believe, is Deacon saying like something bad's going to happen in Rome because Liam has sat there and wah, 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 and told Deacon about all this stuff. And I think Deacon is feeding it back to him, basically saying, if it feels to you like something Something bad is going to happen in Rome. You should go to Rome because the spoiler for Friday, June 16th says Liam makes a decision and jumps into action. And I believe that that is after getting advice from Deacon that basically if you're having this feeling, you should just go and he's going to go. Now, the scene, the next to the last scene, well, the scene that is the last scene but plays with the voiceover is Hope and Thomas and Steffi. Hope and Thomas are on this balcony. And remember, Thomas had said something like this hope to Italy, this trip to Italy is going to change everything. They keep saying that on the promos and in the spoilers and the characters keep saying that it's going to change everything forever. So that could be about Ridge and Brooke, but I don't think so. I think it's about Thomas and Hope just because we've seen Brooke and Ridge get together 8 million times. It's not surprising or fresh. So, but Hope having her hand on Thomas, spending time alone with him, smiling with him, that's definitely her handiwork, but Steffi is watching, and I imagine that Steffi might confront Hope, warn Thomas, and heck, she might even take a picture and send it to Liam. There's no telling how far Steffi will go to protect her brother. All right, that's all of our thoughts about this. And before we show you the promo here in just a second, if you haven't already, please reach down and click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Bold and the Beautiful spoilers, promos, predictions, everything you need to know. Watch this promo and then pause it and then rewind it and listen to that last line of dialogue and let us know in the comments, do you think it's Liam? Do you think it's Deacon? Do you think it's a, a, a mashup of a few words from Liam and then the rest from Deacon, which is what we think it is over here at Soap Dirt. Thanks for listening. I can't shake this ominous feeling about Hope and Thomas in Rome together. This trip is just about business, right? You have to do something. You cannot let this trip happen. It is just a business trip, nothing more. It's just a feeling like something bad's gonna happen in Rome. 